All right, here we are, boys and girls, young men, young ladies. Let's learn a little bit about or reinforce what we know about um, Japan. And this comes to their government and the time of feudal society. So what we're going to do is we're going to title this. I have my paper like this, by the way, up and down. We're going to title this Feudal, F-E-U, D A L feudal Japan. All right, that is the main topic right here. Now, this is is very important because it's very, and I'm going to put this in here. It's very similar, very similar to feudalism. I'm going to capitalize this because that's an important word. Very important because it's very similar to feudalism in Europe, which we will study in a few weeks, about a month or so. Yes, yeah, so it's been a long time in there. So it's very similar to feudalism in Europe. So know that word, feudal or feudalism, sometimes it's called feudal system or feudal society, something like that. All right, so there's our, our topic here. I'm gonna change colors. So we're gonna be creating a, a hierarchy of people in feudal society. It's a social class system that makes Japanese society work for a while. All right, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a pyramid. I'm gonna start at the bottom here. And uh, the largest group of people will be, let me go down here, let's start out by, let's go like this. It goes down here, are going to be your merchants. Those are people that sell things. They make things and they sell things. They're your business owners. They're the, the lowest class. Above them, I'm gonna change colors here real quick. Just to kind of keep it going like that. You have your artisans or sometimes pronounced artisans. These are your craft people, those that make stuff. The merchants on the bottom, then artisans. And then above them you have the peasants, which seems odd. You would think of the peasants as being on the very bottom. But not in feudal society. Peasants are important. They perform a great duty. Above them you have the ronin. R-O-N-I-N, the Ronin. And then you have, above the Ronin, you have the Samurai. S-A-M-U-R-A-I. And since they go, basically, they kind of come together. They work together. They're very similar. They are, You have the, let's keep the same colors, the dye a M Y O S Daimos. All right, and then above that group you have some of you may guess the generals. Do you remember the name of the generals? I bet you do. The Shogun. Those are your generals, and then at the very top you have. I bet you can guess. It sometimes will be a figurehead. Sometimes it'll be very important. You have that one person. The emperor. Okay, now let's turn all of this into a, a pyramid. So I'm gonna switch my colors around here. All right, I'm gonna get this marker right here. And I'm gonna make this into a pyramid. So there's the bottom, there's the top. We're gonna go like this. It won't be a perfect pyramid. Let me take this one down. Bring it over. All right, then I'm going to divide them up. There's your bottom with the merchants and the artisans, the peasants, the rodent, the samurai, the diamos, the shogun, and then the emperor at the top. Now, now we have the, the, the different groups, the different levels. What we want to do is, is talk about each one of them and tell a little bit about who they are very briefly. So your merchants, basically, are they are, they are your 
salespeople. They are the salespeople. Very low. This would be your lowest class. Lowest class, right there. Okay. Or well, your merchants. Then above them, these are your artisans. Okay. The thing about the artisans, sometimes we call them craftspeople. Depending on what they did, they could actually end up, they could be, all right, lowest class. Or they could also be a little bit above that. They could also be up there with the peasants. So they go together. All right. Now, the, one of the largest groups now, 90% of the population, look at this, 90% of the people are going to be peasants. 90%. That's a lot, y'all. All right, these are going to be your, the peasants had a job. They're farmers. All right, and the uh, food, what, what food would they go catch? They were fishermen. There you go, farmers, fishermen, there's your peasants, all right? Then above them, now we're getting into what's called your warrior class. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just highlight all these. These all go together. This group all the way down to the Ronin. All the way down to the Ronin. We call this group the Warrior Class. The Warrior Class. Okay, now the Ronin in particular, they are, they're pretty cool. They are your Paid soldiers, professional military, you could call them. Okay, then you have your samurai. Okay, these are these are your just straight up just warriors. They're the leaders in the war of of the the Ronin. Ronin will be a little bit lower than them. Um, they followed a code, followed Bushido. And it's a way that you actually fought, it's a way you lived. It's very similar to, if you know anything about European feudalism, it's very similar to chivalry. So that's your samurai. They're like your best warriors. A lot of times people, you see them going against your, uh, the ninjas. All right, then you have the Diamos, okay? These are your, your nobles. But they're warrior class. They're kind of, the, they're the leaders. They're up at the top. They're going to spend a lot of time with the other group that's at the top will be your shogun. Your shogun is a political leader But he's also a general. What he says happens on the battlefield. The only person that might be above, and that depends on what time period, would be the emperor. But most of the time period, you have the emperor, and all he is is just a figurehead. Just a figurehead. Basically what that means, simply put, is a... False leader. So your real leader is the Shogun, and then the Diamos, and then the Samurai. And it works its way all the way down. All right here. Anything else you want to add in this? Maybe not, but again, you have your merchants. They're your lower class, artisans, and then peasants make up 90% of the population. You could do something like this. This group falls into a category on its own. 90%. Then you have your lowest class. They fall into a category on their own. It kind of blends over. You can do it like this. And 
And since it blends over, I might even put that green over that a little bit. All right, then you work your way up. You have your warrior class. Put them all in blue. And then your figurehead. I'll just leave them at the top. Again, here is feudal society. You could not leave each one of these jobs. You are stuck where you were born, right there. If you're on the bottom, you're on the bottom. If you're on the top, you're on the top. There you go. There's feudal Japan from the top, the figurehead emperor, all the way down to the lowest group of people, your salespeople, the merchants. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're learning something. Remember this. See you later.